My name is David Lepofsky. I am chair of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act Alliance. We do volunteer advocacy on the rights of people with disabilities in Canada. Right now before Parliament, there is a bill, Bill C-22, called the Canada Disability Benefit Act. It has a very good purpose. The purpose is to lift people with disabilities out of poverty because hundreds of thousands of people with disabilities now live in poverty. The problem is the bill is far too weak. Allow cabinet to create a Canada disability benefit that leaves no impoverished person with a disability behind. It's supposed to create a new social assistance benefit for people with disabilities who live in poverty, but it doesn't actually require one to be created. And if one is created, it doesn't have to be large enough to actually lift them out of poverty. And even if that were to happen, there's no requirement that the benefit carry on one year after the next, one government after the next. Frankly, people with disabilities deserve better. Now, a number of disability advocacy groups, including ours, went to the House of Commons last fall and said, this bill needs to be strengthened. We propose amendments that will speed up getting money into people's pockets because as drafted now, this bill is a formula for that happening slowly, not quickly. The Trudeau government's position was, no, it's good enough. It doesn't need any amendments. Well, we got some amendments, not enough, and we are now going to the Senate. And we're going to ask the Senate to strengthen this bill. Now, what do we expect from the Trudeau government? We expect them to say, this bill is good enough and it does not need any amendments. Not only that, but we expect that they're going to ask some disability organizations and individuals with disabilities to go to the Senate and to also say, this bill is good enough. It doesn't need any amendments. Well, it does. But here's the thing. At the House of Commons, when they held hearings on the bill, the Trudeau government started out saying, well, the bill should pass without amendments. Uh, the, uh, the need to, to pass uh, Bill C-22 uh, through this committee and through the House without amendment as quickly as possible. But when the opposition at our request and the request of other disability groups proposed amendments, well, the very Trudeau government that said we don't need any amendments suddenly said about amendment after amendment, these are excellent amendments. How do you know if this really happened? Let me show you. What you're going to see in the next video clips are Liberal members of Parliament last fall at a standing committee proceeding when they were discussing whether to amend the bill. You're going to see two of them. Eric Kurzbarchuk, a Liberal member who is the Parliamentary Secretary for the minister sponsoring this bill, her chief spokesperson, and also Wayne Long. Listen to how he and Mr. Long described the amendments that the Trudeau government had said we just didn't need. Thank you, Mr. Floor. Chair. I just wanted to acknowledge the good work of, of our colleague here in, in committee, and uh, it, is, uh, it is an improvement. Uh, it strengthens this bill, provides uh, additional clarity, and uh, we will be supporting this, uh, this amendment. I just wanted to say that, uh, uh, again, wanted to thank my colleague. Uh, excellent recommendation. It clarifies the, uh, uh, the, the, the bill and, uh, and provides additional uh, clarity as well, too, in terms of making sure that the benefit is, uh, is indexed to inflation. It's something that we heard very clearly from so many witnesses that came before the, uh, the committee. And so we will be uh, supporting uh, PV6. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And again, an, an excellent, another excellent amendment uh, suggested by my colleague. Uh, goes to show teamwork makes the dream work. I, I see both Madame Zarillo and Mr. Van Bynen's uh, amendments as uh, really strengthening this, uh, this bill. Uh, excellent work. And what I see at doing both of the, the amendment and the sub-amendment is really adding and building additional confidence uh, into the process. Uh, it, inc it would include two really important 
uh, checkpoints. Uh, the first uh, would be on a pulse check within six months of the consultations uh, beginning. Government would have to report back to talk about how those consultations are progressing. I think that's absolutely important. Yeah, I think MP Cirilla for this, it's, it's uh, a good uh, amendment. Um, obviously, the intent of this is to lift persons with disabilities out of poverty. Um, and we can definitely support, definitely support this. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I, I just wanted to say very much appreciated uh, MP Gray bringing this uh, amendment forward. It, it absolutely strengthen, strengthens uh, this process, adds an additional layer of review, an additional layer of transparency and, uh, and accountability. And more than that, it, it, uh, it reduces the, uh, the timeline, shortens the timeline for that accountability, uh, very much strengthens uh, this bill, uh, adds confidence to what we're trying to do here, and uh, we will be supporting this, uh, this amendment. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chair, and through you to uh, MP Zarello, I just want to uh, thank uh, uh, MP Zarello for the work she's done on this. I know she's very passionate about this. I think that this uh, amendment uh, hits the mark, and we can certainly support it. We need the Senate to strengthen Bill C-22 so it really will lift people with disabilities out of poverty. We need the Trudeau government to support amendments to the bill, not to flip-flop. First they're opposing amendments, then they're in support of them, then they're opposing them. Let's just get this bill to be the strong bill that people with disabilities in Canada deserve. Learn more at www.aodaalliance.org slash c22.